Texas Five's Home of Bash live at Woodbury Elementary in Shaker Heights, where family and friends are gathering right now to remember Aisha Frazier. A candlelight vigil begins in about half an hour. We are expecting hundreds of people here tonight, and already dozens have gathered. Aisha Frazier's family saying this outpouring of love and support and grief is a testament to the woman that she was. It is difficult for people to picture Aisha Frazier without a smile. There was something special about her, and the community reaction to her death is evidence of that. But underneath her smile, her family says Frazier feared her ex-husband, Lance Mason. But she was scared of him. Oh, yes. Deathly afraid of him. Deathly afraid of him. The fear came from heated conversations and bubbled over after a beating that hospitalized Frazier and sent Mason to prison. After he got out, her family says the couple had an arrangement to exchange custody of their two young daughters at this home on Chagrin Boulevard, owned by Aisha, rented by Mason's sister. On Saturday, the arrangement that had been working so well went so terribly wrong. On Saturday, he waited for her. And when she pulled in to drop the kids off as agreed, as she was taking the children out of the car, he attacked her. These two children are left with no mother or no father. Drama and tragedy for a woman her Uncle George says was goodness personified. A woman who leaves a hole in this community in this school where she taught for 16 years. It is said that you know that you lived a good life when people never stop mentioning your name. Her name will be mentioned for very, 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 very many years. The couple's two young daughters are with Aisha's best friend, their godmother. She plans to adopt them. Again, that candlelight vigil expected to begin at 5.30. There are already dozens and dozens of family and friend gathered to remember Aisha Frazier. Live in Shaker Heights, Homa Bash, News 5.